Good evening, everyone. Please be seated. My name is Anthony Steele, and I am proud to serve as the Assistant Superintendent uh, and Principal of Blackstone Valley Tech. On behalf of our school committee, administration, and staff, I am pleased to welcome you to join in the graduation exercises for the Valley Tech class of 23. Welcome to the Hanover Theater. This theater was built in 1904 by Ransom Clark Taylor from Northbridge. After many reconfigurations, it was most recently restored in 2008 to its current condition. For 119 years, this special place has been an inspiration for those who visit and perform, as well as an icon of culture, architecture, and the arts. For the past 14 years, it, is, it has also served as an ideal place to celebrate our commencement exercises, providing our graduates with the sophistication, the pomp, and the circumstance they deserve. Welcome to our home away from home. At Valley Tech, we strive to instill within our students perseverance, resilience, adaptability, and professionalism. We also teach them what it means to be part of the BVT family. Respect, kindness, and tolerance are the pillars of our school culture. And finally, we encourage each individual, staff and student alike, to embrace a quote-unquote above and beyond approach to their work. Taking great pride in our work includes showing each other what we can do, and we inspire each other to be the best that we can be. We refer to that collegiality as BVT's spirited competition. On stage with me tonight are 292 young men and women from the 13 communities throughout the Blackstone Valley. They have gained sophisticated 21st century career technical skills, demonstrated very impressive academic achievement, and set the bar for others to follow. This tremendous accomplishment is signified by the vocational certificate and the diploma that they will receive tonight. This ceremony carries significance for everyone in the Valley Tech family, and we all have great reasons to be proud. We gather to honor these students for completing a major milestone in their lives. Likewise, we're here to celebrate the parents, guardians, and family members and friends whose love, guidance, and encouragement provided the support to help these students succeed. These students entered Valley Tech as young adolescents, and in four short years, they've matured into young adults whose respect, tolerance, and thoughtfulness carry on the character of the BVT family. Since their first day at our school, I encourage them to earn their reputation every day, to put in their best work, their best effort, and work their hardest, and to leave Valley Tech just a little bit better than they found it. The class of 2023 has met that challenge, and then some. They have been outstanding stewards of their school, and after tonight, I have no doubt that they will carry that torch for a lifetime as BVT alumni. In closing, we commend the members of the class of 2023 for, their main, for maintaining their focus and for their dedication, dedication to reaching the goal of becoming a Blackstone Valley Tech graduate. Please join me in applauding the class of 2023. this time, please uh, excuse us for one moment as we pause for our photographers from Warren Studios. Uh, they should be up in the mezzanine. Do we have Chris and Dave up there? There they are. We need to take one final photo of these seniors assembled as one class. Whenever you're ready, guys. They got the shot. They got the shot. Thank you. 
I also have a few housekeeping items before we begin. Please be advised that there are emergency exits located in all four corners of the theater. The ladies and men's rooms are located out in the lobby. Uh, Morning Studios will also be photographing the presentation of the diplomas tonight, and both the individual photos as well as the class photo that we just took are available uh, for purchase directly to, uh, from Milford uh, through Morin Studios. Thank you. At this time, I ask that our class officers, President Isabel Cahill, Vice President Bradley Lyon, Secretary uh, Paige Shousey, and Treasurer Lily Kimball and historian Natalia Vasquez to please come forward and lead us in a salute to the flag of the United States. Would everyone please rise. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. <laughs> as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem by Carly Koopman, a senior in our dental assisting program from the town of Northridge. She will be attending the University of New Hampshire next year, majoring in environmental science. Thank you for singing for us tonight, Carly. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Be seated. <laughs> it is my honor to introduce Ms. Yvette Martin, our Director of Student Services. Uh, she will be coming out, Ms. Martin will be coming out to deliver our blessing. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. I'd like to share a graduation blessing, uh, the author's unknown. If there were ever time to dare to make a difference, to embark on something worth doing, it is now. Not for any grand cause, but for something that tugs at your heart, something that is worth your aspiration, something that is your dream. You owe it to yourself to make your days count. Have fun, dig deep, dream big. 
know that things worth doing seldom come easy. There will be times when you want to turn around, pack it up, call it quits. Those times tell you that you are pushing yourself and that you are not afraid to learn by trying. Persist, because with an idea, determination, the right tools, you can do great things. Let your instincts, your intellect, and let your heart guide you. Trust. Believe in the incredible power of the human mind, of doing something that makes a difference, of working hard, of laughing and hoping, of lasting friendships, of all the things that you will cross, that will cross your path. Next year, the start of something new brings hope of something great. Anything is possible. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. Do it right. Bless our graduates. We wish them well on their journey. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Martin. One of the great things about working at BVT is discovering the many talents of our students and our staff. We share our passions with each other as a regular practice, and it's always a pleasure to uncover and celebrate amazing new talent. As a matter of tradition, we went searching for a senior to perform a musical piece for us tonight. I was pleasantly surprised when I found not only one worthy senior, but two. It is my pleasure to introduce seniors Mason Day and Luke Scholl. These impressive musicians will be performing a duet performance of Wild Horses by the Rolling Stones. Gentlemen. Thank you. 
Great job, guys. Thank you very much. It is my honor to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2023. She will be attending Pennsylvania State University, majoring in aerospace engineering. From engineering and robotics in the town of Uxbridge, please welcome Caitlin Steele. Good evening, DBT families, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. It's crazy to think that the first time we all gathered together as a class was nearly four years ago in August of 2019. As we all walked into Blackstone Valley Tech for orientation and sat down in the competition center to be addressed by our administrators, we were a mix of timid freshmen from 13 different towns with drastically different interests who were complete strangers to each other. Many of us were unsure what vocation we wished to pursue or what extracurricular activities we wanted to partake in. Despite our differences, we all had one thing in common. We wanted to take advantage of the unique opportunities provided by a technical high school. We wanted to get out of our comfort zone and work hands-on to gain experience in a trade of our choosing. This similarity is what makes us all beavers. Beavers are an industrious animal known for being hardworking, determined, and self-disciplined. They are motivated to always do their best and become an expert in their field. Beavers take an organized, analytical approach to problem solving and find the successful completion of a project to be extremely rewarding. As beavers, we all possess these aforementioned traits and have demonstrated them throughout the past four years. Just as beavers take great care in building their dams, we take great care in constructing houses, treating sick patients, and engineering solutions to global problems. Today, as we are gathered here in the Hanover Theater, I congratulate you all on this momentous achievement of successfully completing high school. Although freshman orientation may have seemed like yesterday, we have undergone a lifetime of change since we first stepped onto the Blackstone Valley Tech campus. We have discovered our passions and put hundreds of hours into training in our respective trades. We have stressed over exams and stayed up all night to submit assignments before the 11.59 p.m. deadline. While we may have been losing sleep, we have gained an invaluable education comprised of academic and career technical learning alike and deserve to celebrate all that we have achieved during these past four years. Success is unique and that there is no one way that it is measured. BBT is home to SkillsUSA Nationals medalists, athletes who are state vocational champions, and a student council that has been named a goal of Council of Excellence. We have students who have positively impacted the school community through volunteering, earned industry-recognized certifications, and held co-op jobs. All of these are major successes because they required hard work, extreme dedication, and were the result of individual growth. Therefore, you should all be very proud of all you have achieved during your time at BBT, no matter how big or small those accomplishments may seem, because it has not been an easy feat.
Today is an exciting day for us that marks new beginnings as we are all finally fully entering into the real world. We have grown into confident, prepared young adults, well equipped with the necessary skills to pursue whatever post-graduation path we so choose, whether it be to further our education at a post-secondary learning institution, enter directly into the workforce, or perhaps even courageously serve in the armed forces. We have already accomplished a lot, but I know that we are destined to accomplish even more because we are ready to face the world head on and the challenges that are presented. I'm sure that many of you would agree that we would not be the individuals that we are today without the support of our families and guidance of the Blackstone Valley Tech staff. So it only seems right to conclude my speech by thanking those that have helped me throughout my high school career. To my family, thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made in order to help get me through high school. I appreciate you always being there for me and finding time to come to all of my sporting events. Many VBT teachers, administrators, coaches, club advisors, and other members of the faculty have had a profound impact on me. But there are three in particular that I would like to give special thanks to. Ms. Christensen, thank you for always pushing me to be my best. I'm truly grateful to have been able to spend the past four years with you as my basketball coach. Mr. Lehner, thank you for all the opportunities that you have provided me with. From allowing me to take AP Physics, to inviting me to come on the Aviation Club field trips to Florida, and to even taking me flying. It is clear how much you care about your students, and I am sure that you'll be missed at BBT next year. And last, but certainly not least, Mr. Rhodes, thank you for always believing in me and supporting me since day one. As we depart BBT and all go our separate ways into the world, I hope that you will forever be a beaver and that you will maintain your strong work ethic and continue to utilize your unique skill set to better the world around you. Thank you, and roll beeves. It is my honor to introduce the president of the class of 2023. She will be attending the University of Maine, majoring in environmental engineering. From multimedia communications in the town of Uxbridge, please welcome Isabel Cahill. On behalf of the class of 2023, I want to thank the class advisors, class officers, administration, and faculty, as well as family and friends. Without your hard work, encouragement, and support, we would not be here today. I'm sure many of us remember our parents telling us freshman year how fast high school was going to fly by. I guess this is another time I'll admit my mother was right. <laughs> One day we were nervous yet optimistic freshmen, and now here we are dressed in our caps and gowns, still nervous but optimistic about the future to come. However, today isn't about yesterday. It's not even about tomorrow. Today is about us celebrating this amazing milestone together and being proud of who we've become. It's often easy to reminisce about the past or be eager about our futures that we forget to breathe and appreciate who we are and where we are now. By living in the present, we can appreciate the wonderful memories of the past, and by recognizing the now, it allows us to see and take advantage of the opportunities the future may bring. My hope for us is that we'll appreciate today to the fullest, as we only graduate from high school once. And while it's easy to minimize your accomplishments or dismiss the hard work it took you to get to this point, today I hope you are all nothing but proud. High school wasn't always easy. However, today we stand here together, soon with the diplomas in hands, friends and family by our sides, knowing it was well worth it. Remembering that high school was a time to find ourselves, and while the journey to self-discovery is nowhere near over, at this milestone we should celebrate all our triumphs and reflect upon the hardships, as they have defined us and gotten us to where we are today. I've had the privilege of being your class president for the past four years, and truthfully, didn't know what to expect when running for this position freshman year. It's been an honor. Thank you for entrusting me and our fellow cross officers in helping define your high school experience. I'm forever grateful for the opportunity as it's led me to connect with amazing people within our class who continue to inspire me each day. I'm so happy to have had the chance to serve alongside Brad, Paige, Natalia, and Lily. I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to work with. And all the events held over the years couldn't have been done without help from our amazing class advisors, Ms. Ledoux and Mr. Jordan. Thank you for all your hard work. 
In closing, I hope today we take this chance to appreciate the little moments of the present, to laugh and to talk together as friends and classmates, and most importantly, as newly graduates. Congratulations to you all. I can't wait to witness what you accomplish. Thank you. It is my honor to introduce the Student Council President of the Class of 2023. He will be entering the workforce as an HVAC technician. From heating, ventilation, air conditioning, refrigeration, and the town of Douglas, please welcome Hunter Claflin. Good evening, Blackstone Valley Tech staff, friends, family, and fellow graduates. When I was told just shy of a year ago that I had to write a speech here today, I was completely taken aback. It was nothing like any other speech I've written. With this speech, I wanted it to be better and encapsulate what we have left behind. So here it goes. Today is when we move into the next chapters of our lives. For most of us, we didn't expect these past four years to fly by, but here we are. From the short four years ago, as baby freshmen, sitting in the competition center, not knowing what was about to hit us, to now, sitting in these chairs with our caps and gowns, we have constantly been pushed to be the best we can. It's safe to say that the spirit, pride, and enthusiasm that we share as a class has left BBT just a little bit better than when we came in. Over the past four years, we have been hit with many unexpected things. Who would have known that freshman year, our pep rally would have been postponed because of a pipe burst? or this thing called COVID would completely shut us down for two years. One word comes to mind when talking about our class. Even through online school for all of sophomore year and some of junior year, it has made me think of one trait that truly highlights the class of 2023, determination. We've been determined to make our high school experience unforgettable. I can't believe we made it here so quickly. Everything we've done as a class embodies school spirit in some form, by engaging in school events, and by supporting each other through challenging situations. We have not had a normal high school experience by far, but we have adjusted to many changes and led our community with grace and spirit. As Pipple once said, everybody has been through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. <laughs> So as we move into the next chapters of our lives and leave past these four unforgettable years, let this remind us of everything we have been through, but how we will overcome and move forward from setbacks in the future. As leaders in our school, we don't have to have the biggest titles to make a change. We just need to be the truest versions of ourselves to leave a legacy. The class of 2023 has left a tremendous legacy on BBT. We will never forget the, the memories we made during our time at Blackstone Valley Tech from having our ring dance outside during a very unique year, to learning remotely, to blacking out the entire school. The memories we have made have left a legacy on the school that we will never forget. Congratulations, fellow graduates. We made it. Good luck to everyone who is pursuing further education, continuing in the workforce, or going to serve in the armed forces. As one of your peers and student council president, I have never been more proud of a group of people than our class. Once again, congratulations and thank you. It is my honor to introduce the historian of the class of 2023. She will be attending Columbia University from engineering and robotics in the town of Menden. Please welcome Natalia Vasquez. BBT staff, administration, family and friends, and of course, to the class of 2023. I'd like to begin, begin by extending an even warmer welcome and a very special thank you to our class advisors, Mr. Robert Jordan and Ms. Nicole Ledoux, who spent their senior, their senior year helping us have the most memorable time we could. I believe I'm in the majority of students in saying that I would not be where I am today without them. 
I've had the privilege to serve as the class's historian for the last four years. I've spent my time in high school being an observer behind the scenes both on social media and at class events. And as much as I always strive to have an answer for everything, I'm not sure that observing the class from behind the lens of the camera necessarily qualifies me to give everyone universally applicable advice. So I figured, who better to guide the class than the class themselves? Here's what the class of 2023 had to say when asked what advice they would give to their freshmen selves. Nick Masudi said to make as many friends and connections as possible and to be active within the school. Caitlin Walsh said to get involved in the school more and to talk to more people. Be less shy and do more. And of course, in the ever sage words of Colin Chambliss, don't be dumb. <laughs> But more specifically, Colin said to be humble. Academics don't need to be a personality, so finding a balance is what's important. The question now is, what wisdom can we glean from the words of our peers? Is there a common thread uniting all of their advice? As for my two cents, I'd say that our classmates are all getting at the same things. Getting involved and making memories. None of us are walking away from the last four years with just a diploma. More than just the dances or the ceremonies, our class will remember every time Mr. Leighton taught us to count to threes on our fingers. The sound of Mr. Evans' voice will ring in our ears every time we hear an announcement over the PA. <laughs> we'll remember a number of shop teachers giving us somewhat questionable life advice. We'll remember Mr. Van Curen, everyone's favorite custodian, calling us smiley and brightening our days. And yes, of course, we'll remember the cafeteria lunch monitors. <laughs> Now, I don't believe that every memory has to be for the photo album, yet we shouldn't try and forget any detail. Good, bad, or just plain boring, all of our memories influence who we are and who we will become as we conclude this chapter of our lives. Tempting as it may be to push away the hard times, we must learn to embrace them as our lived experiences are intrinsic to our characters. It is through trial we find growth and through success we find joy both of which are crucial to the development of us, not simply as students, but as people. Wherever the next four years may take you, seniors, I implore you, go and make some horrible memories. Then, when you have the chance, laugh about them with your friends. Make some good ones to balance things out. Just throw yourself into life at full force because there's an entire world waiting for you to go and experience it. Trust that everything, Every memory will take its place. To the class of 2023, thanks for the memories. It is my honor to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2023. He will be attending Northeastern University, majoring in civil engineering, from Engineering and Robotics in the town of Uxbridge, please welcome Maxwell Guyton. Good evening, BBT staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2023. 1,378 days, 10 hours, and approximately 15 minutes. This is how long it has been since we began our high school journeys walking through the halls of Blackstone Valley Tech for the first time. We constantly were told how the four years would fly by. We would graduate before we knew it. It's funny that the time spent at graduation could almost feel longer than the time spent as BVT students. <laughs> While graduation marks a day of moving forward, it also marks a day of reflection. It serves as a turning point from childhood to adulthood as we say goodbye to the children we once were and hello to the adults we are about to become. I remember day one at BBT, when I met my first friends, teachers, and somehow became lost multiple times trying to find my classes. On day 56, we experienced our first homecoming pep rally and dance, in which we were exposed to our school culture, and were just a tiny bit overwhelmed. Day 98, we completed our exploratory cycles and learned the careers which we definitely did not want to pursue, but also found the one that we did. All of a sudden, it was day 383, in which we were no longer freshmen, as we entered BBT as sophomores, both physically and virtually. 
Our sophomore ring dance was day 643, the first event in which the class was celebrated for its accomplishments. Day 1002, the day of our junior prom, which our class officers successfully organized and planned, even though the dance floor is just a bit too small. Finally, class of 2023, it is day 1378, graduation. It is our final day of being BVT students, as tomorrow will mark day one of being BVT alumni. With graduation comes several goodbyes. As I stand here tonight, I realize that I have so many goodbyes to give. Goodbye to my friends, both behind me and in the audience, that have always supported me. Goodbye to my incredible family who have guided me every step of the way as I head off to college next year. And last, but certainly not least, goodbye to BVT, which has become my second home these past few years through my extracurricular activities, extraordinary teachers and advisors, and of course, my engineering shop. I want to conclude my speech tonight with an insightful thought. Nearly four years ago, our class was recognized as one for the first time. We were individuals coming from all over the valley looking for change, education, and opportunity. We were scared, anxious, and afraid of the challenges that were ahead of us. Today, that same class is recognized as one for one final time. However, we are now excited, prepared, and ready to enter the real world as we once again go our separate ways. So get out there, class of 2023. Let's show the world how day 1378 doesn't just mark the end, but rather the beginning of the incredible things we have yet to accomplish. Congratulations to the class of 2023. And for one final time, I say with honor, pride, and dignity, Roll Beeves! That's good stuff. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming our assistant principal for the class of 2023, Ms. Sky Bamba, for the class address. Good evening. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and recognize our audience. To the parents, guardians, and family and friends who are here to support our graduates, your never-ending love and support were instrumental in helping our students get to this finish line. To our staff and faculty who have contributed and helped make this day possible, I thank you for the many roles you have played in our students' lives over the years. Your dedication does not go unnoticed. As my first graduating class, I want to thank you for allowing me to learn how to lead with you. Over the past two years, many of us have laughed together, cried together, and most importantly, grown together. I thought it would be fitting to have my last moments with the class of 2023 serve as an opportunity for me to share a few words of wisdom. As you prepared for your final weeks leading up to today, you likely witnessed the adults in your life feeling a little nostalgic and maybe even a little emotional about your high school time coming to an end. They probably wanted to take what felt like hundreds of pictures as a way of saving the memories forever. Let them do this for every milestone you face because you will look back and be thankful for these tangible memories. Also ask for and allow for the storytelling from your elders because these stories will become the ones you will want to repeat to your own children someday. As you travel through your final year, year, year here at BBT, I encouraged you to take part in the many senior events your class had. I did this because I want you to move into the next phase of your life, understanding the importance of balance. Don't become so consumed with work or school that you, stop, you, for, you forget to stop and enjoy the moments with friends and family. Finding the right balance leads to a fulfilling life and helps to eliminate looking back with regret of opportunities missed. And as many of you have heard me say countless times, always know your worth. Make a conscious decision to surround yourself with people who make you better, people who make you laugh, and people who are genuine in their support of you. Remember that sometimes less is more. Do not ever be afraid to ask for help, and when you see someone struggling, help them. The most important opinion anyone can have of you is the one you have of yourself. Your inner dialogue and thoughts about your feelings and goals is perhaps the most significant of all. Believe in your own ability to persevere and never be too afraid to stand alone. Learning to sit in your own discomfort will allow you to continuously grow in ways that are difficult to imagine at the moment. 
Remember that setbacks are temporary. Learn to seek help when you need it and talk to people who you trust when you struggle. Know that you are never really alone and there is no problem that doesn't have a solution. Don't let the fear of failure keep you from taking a risk and following your dreams. Failure is a necessary part of life because it allows for growth and changes in perspective. Learning to win and lose with grace is vital. When you make a mistake, own it, learn from it, and move on. Be mindful of what you post, how often you post, and how you choose to respond to others online. Resist the temptation of tracking how many followers you have and how many likes your posts and pictures receive. Don't live behind your phone. Put it down and enjoy the ride. Enjoy the concert without needing to record it all. Take the hike without needing to get that perfect picture for your Instagram story. Go to dinner without needing to document every course. Take pictures along the way, but don't lose sight of the moments by being lost in your phone. Finally, try to live every day by the golden rule. Treat others with the kindness and respect you feel you deserve. Each of you has the ability to make the world a better place by your daily actions. Live a life filled with kindness and compassion for others. In closing, I want to congratulate all of you on your achievements. Be proud of what you have earned here. Please come back to see us and share the successes of your lives. Best of luck to you all. It has been a true honor and privilege to know and to work with you. For nearly three decades, Superintendent Director Dr. Michael Fitzpatrick has diligently worked with the leadership team and the entire staff to shape Valley Tech into a nationally recognized model school system. Dr. Fitzpatrick has devoted his career to furthering the mission of quality vocational technical education and the education of all students. He was the first superintendent of a regional vocational technical school to be elected as the president of the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents and also earned the association's prestigious Superintendent of the Year Award. Nationally, he has served on the governing board of the American Association of School Administrators, representing the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. With his vision and guidance, Valley Tech continues to receive wide acclaim for providing world-class career techn technical education for students across the Blackstone Valley. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Michael Fitzpatrick. Good evening and welcome to family members, school committee members, administration, staff, and our class. It is an honor to join you for the commencement exercises for the class of 2023 recognizing and celebrating our graduates with all the pomp and circumstances that they well deserve. Graduates, envision yourself as a boat launching into a sea of opportunity, a sleek vessel you constructed yourself and equipped with the gear you needed for a successful lifelong voyage of discovery. Don't get too excited now. I did not say that Bruno Mars, Beyonce, or Taylor Swift would be joining you. <laughs> Nevertheless, gather a capable and supportive crew and open your sails as wide as you choose. Opportunities abound, but the future is certainly unpredictable. You should expect to navigate through turbulent waters at least some of the time. As seaworthy travelers, you will move out to sea, and when you do, your local connections and the landmarks that track your course will be altered significantly. As you sail away from shore, things which loomed larger before will become smaller and smaller until they remain just a speck on the horizon behind you. And what lies before you will come into a fuller view. Be prepared for such transition. While daunting, the journey itself can be a grand experience. Devote yourself to the highest aspirations and the pursuit of personal excellence. You are the product of your nautical design. With your BVT education, you are well prepared to sail and arrive at your chosen destination. We have witnessed your talent, your dedication, your enthusiasm firsthand 
as you pursued a vocational technical education. Fueled by ambition, you demonstrated an intense desire to learn and the ability to meet and overcome challenges. Earlier this evening, we observed our graduates and their families arriving at the Hanover Theater beaming with pride. The excitement is palpable, like day one of the new school year. Only you have done the work, taken the chances, and you are now ready for whatever the future might bring. Four years ago, when you arrived on our campus with a limited imagination and a curiosity about the world around you, you dreamed about the future yourself and the opportunities of, that followed. You envisioned all kinds of exciting jobs, from athlete to architect, to engineer to electrician, so many more, and with a thorough understanding of the steps to get there. With an enthusiastic yes, you took a big step towards shaping your future career when you decided that BVT was for you. We welcomed you into our unique community with a strong sense of community and belonging and a culture of pride, one of passion, and one of professionalism, and the opportunity to pursue a vocational education, recognizing it would be challenging, but yet rewarding. As you know, it requires stepping out of your comfort zone, exploring various pathways, and trying things that you might not have imagined. Nevertheless, you committed to doing the work you found the way, and you quickly embodied the expectations of our school culture. Now, as a confident, skilled young adult who received an exceptional education, you are ready to launch the next leg of your journey. You have a newfound appreciation of what is required to make your aspirations a reality. In the process, you have come to understand that with a positive attitude, with perseverance, with determination, and was once a dream is now well within your grasp. Tonight, we acknowledge and applaud your passion, your drive, your determination, that all of which, which has propelled you to this point. Please share credit for the successes with all those who made it possible. As you take your talents out into the world, be patient and surround yourself with a crew of fellow travelers who cheer you on. Your journey is never about you alone, other people intersect with our lives. The challenge is to see the larger picture and acknowledge how others have shaped and impacted you and how you can impact others. So choose to use that which influenced you to be good and to do good. If you want kindness, you have to be kind. If you want to invoke change, you have to take action. Few know the obstacles that you have overcome to be where you are today. Avoid comparing yourself to your peers as you are all setting out on your own journey. Instead, remember that where you are now is where you need to be. So no matter where you are on the journey, keep going as you strive to serve as an instrument of a better future. Embrace the challenges when there are rough waters and marvel at the success when you reach commerce seas. On behalf of everyone at Blackstone Valley Tech, we thank you for your contributions to our nationally recognized school system and wish you good fortune. It has been an honor to serve as your superintendent and join the other staff members who are here this evening and work throughout the four years. You, the class of 2023, are part of our legacy and forever part of our collective voyage. As you set your sights on your future goals, do not give up on your dreams because real magic happens when you take a leap of faith and believe in yourself. We look forward to celebrating your continued success. From heart, and I extend heartfelt congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Please excuse us while we take a few moments to reconfigure the stage for the presentation of the diplomas.
and friends, my name is Eddie Evans. I'm honored to be presenting the diplomas tonight along with Dr. Connors from the Vocational Office. Before we begin the presentation of the diplomas, we ask that everyone respect the individual effort that each of our students have put forward to earn their place on this stage tonight. We ask that you refrain from using noisemakers or the like, which could potentially distract or diminish from each individual student having their moment on stage in the lights. Thank you very much, and on with the presentation. Dr. Connors. Will the members of the Advanced Manufacturing and Fabrication Program please rise and come forward. Samuel Henry Bazidlo, Milbury. <laughs> Griffin Joseph Bowler, Douglas. Mackenzie Sophia Champagne, Northbridge. <laughs> Brock Warner Chapman, Blackstone. Nicholas Charles Cummings, Bellingham. <laughs> Johan Damasina Edmonds, Milford. <laughs> Alex J. Foley, Northbridge. Isabella Rose Gannon, Oxbridge. Matthew Paul Hines, Milford. Neela Denny Jerome, Sutton. Brianne Elizabeth Ladani, Milbury. <laughs> Thomas Joseph Laux, Menden. <laughs> Anthony Reese Magalis, Milford. Alexander James Mayers, Milford. <laughs> Sophia Rose Mazzichelli, Blackstone. <laughs> Natalie Faith Mitchell, Sutton.
Marcel Edmund Pelladu Sutton. Jordan Louisa Provost Douglas. Paige Caitlin Rainville Sutton. Sean David Rayal Sage Grafton. Alex Michael Taylor Upton. Benjamin Robert Tufts Sutton. Will the members of the Automotive Collision Repair and Refinishing Program please rise and come forward. Ayla Ann Corcoran, Milbury. Matthew Scott Hamill, Uxbridge. Maxime James Howard, Sutton. Benjamin Daniel Judson Sutton. Cameron Adam McMahon Sutton. Matthew Stephen Mooney Douglas. John William Palmer, Menden. Garrett Kenneth Remillard, Grafton. Luke Warren Sacco, Uxbridge. Will the members of the Automotive Technology Program please rise and come forward. Joshua Dylan Blaylock, Menden. Aaron Joseph Buckley, Hopedale. Isabel Therese Corey, Milbury. Nathan Scott Germain, Northbridge. Alex 
Brooks Stephen Gonzalez Milford. Antonio Amancio Hilton, Oxbridge. Charlie Edward Holmes, Upton. Kyle Stephen Katz, Sutton. Aaliyah Cassandra Linez, Milford. <laughs> Kyle Joseph Leparati, Hopedale. <laughs> Kellen Douglas Masters, Menden. Nathan Connor McMahon, Sutton. <laughs> Megan Inez Morera, Grafton. <laughs> Joshua Roger Pelletier, Uxbridge. Brady Brian Pettit, Millville. Sarah Batista Silva, Milford. Sutton Ray Webb, Hopedale. Will the members of the Construction Technology Program please rise and come forward. Julia Elizabeth Byrne, Upton. <laughs> Haley Marie Davis, Bellingham. <laughs> Caitlin Fume Devine, Sutton. Josephine Louise Dew, Milford. <laughs> Meredith Patricia Doyle, Menden.
Marcella Marins Ferreira Milford. Brian Francis Giles Jr. Northbridge. Anna Veronica Guaman Milford. Joseph Daniel Hare Northbridge. Jao Manuel Lacerda Jordeo Milford. <laughs> Maya Corinne Layden Northbridge. <laughs> Tyler Thomas Mayer Milbury. Ryan Christopher Michaud, Menden. <laughs> Nicholas Michael Nasudi, Upton. <laughs> Cameron David Newcomb, Millville. Nathan Mello Pacheco Douglas. <laughs> Matthew Charles Paxton Jr. Uxbridge. <laughs> Sean Derek Parada Milbury. Amelia Grace Rouleau, Upton. James Michael Russell, Jr., Bellingham. John Peter Taylor, Upton. Will the members of the cosmetology program please rise and come forward? At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Michael Balacqua, a member of BBT's Facilities Department, to present a diploma to his daughter. <laughs> Mia Rose Balacqua, Uxbridge. Emma Ray Kamasi Douglas. Deja Adriana De Jesus Milford. Isabelle Sa de Mesquita, Oakdale. Yeah. 
At this time, I would like to call up Ms. Kimberly Elder, BVT's Vocational and Career Education Data Specialist, to present a diploma to her daughter. K. Mary Beth Elder, Northbridge. Sarah Elizabeth Emerson, Millville. <laughs> Lily Susan Kimball, Millbury. <laughs> Sunny Ann Moscatelli, Oxbridge. Michaela Elizabeth Robinson, Northbridge. <laughs> Natalie Marie Ruckowitz, Millbury. Cameron Remick Sellers, Menden. Hannah Ruby Snyder, Sutton. Julia Margaret T. Barge, Satin. <laughs> Chloe Isabella Vaz, Milford. <laughs> Julia Marie White, Northbridge. <laughs> Jillian Bella Yordanopoulos, Upton. Will the members of the Culinary Arts Program please rise and come forward. Delia Claire Avery, Menden. Mackenzie Grace Barnacle, Oxbridge. Caitlin Elizabeth Boudreau, Milford. <laughs> Benjamin Thomas Carlos DeBoer, Hopedale. <laughs> Michaela Lynn Dutton, Sutton. Eden 
Lynn Rose Abelang, Oxbridge. Samuel Connor Farage, Oxbridge. Joshua Patrick Gagnon, Milford. Ella Leanne Gumini, Douglas. Emily Rose Horahan, Northbridge. Layla Marie Hudson, Northbridge. Brenna Colleen Murphy, Milford. Madison Elizabeth Orff, Menden. Gabriella Paige Pollock, Sutton. At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Derek Steenstra, instructor from BVT's Auto Tech Shop, and Mr. Michael Swanek, instructor from our Construction Technology Shop, to present the next diploma. Jessica Morgan Peralt, Blackstone. Jessica Gail Powers, Upton. Damon James Schmidt, Upton. Joshua Gregory Shorn, Milford. Bryn Alexis Stiller, Upton. <laughs> Naomi Suda, Menden. Will the members of the Dental Assisting Program please rise and come forward? Paige Evelyn Chosey, Northbridge. Carson Ashley DaCosta, Oxbridge.
Lauren Patricia Gobi Melfa. Catherine Lily Hearn Sutton. At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Jeff Koopman, BVT School Committee representative from the town of Northbridge, to present a diploma to his daughter. Carly Grace Koopman, Northbridge. Shannon Elizabeth Mahoney, Sutton. Caitlin Francis McGrath, Milford. Sadie Joan Moore, Menden. Natalie Virginia Morris, Northbridge. Jason King Wynn, Upton. Natalia Grace Pulu, Douglas. Haley Emerson Restick, Mendon. Danica Marie Rakowski, Bellingham. Caitlin Paige Sullivan, Mendon. Nicholas Anthony Tebow, Douglas. Sarah Elizabeth Trum, Bellingham. Brooke Lee Valencourt, Milbury. Will the members of the Drafting and Design Technology Program please rise and come forward. Vanessa Astrid Calles, Northbridge. <laughs> Brady Derek Cordemanche, Douglas. Ryan Robert Saranek, Sutton. <laughs> Ty 
Thais Barbosa Diasis Milford. Jackson Montgomery Doan, Northbridge. Kevin Flores, Milford. Sam Dominic Grilly the Fourth, Northbridge. <laughs> Kenneth Richard Horn, Douglas. Let's go, Kenny! <laughs> Joseph Ryan Hutchinson, Northbridge. <laughs> Samuel Richard Judson Sutton. Bradley Bernard Lyon Upton. Lucas Anthony Patone, Northbridge. Jaden Christopher Rodriguez, Milbury. Grady Kenneth Sanford, Northbridge. Emily Rose Wildfuer, Northbridge. Will the members of the electrical program please rise and come forward? Mason Benjamin Day, Hopedale. <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Donovan, Sutton. Riley Peter Driver, Northbridge. Kevin Alexander Galicki, Upton. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday. <laughs> Scott Allen Glode, Sutton. Rachatwan Udom Greenwald, Upton. Paul Chandler Grieco, Bellingham. Emma Rose Guadagoli, Oxford. Emma. Ada 
Tom Rose Halleck, Oxbridge. Cameron Thomas Ladd, Grafton. Jackson David LaPointe, Sutton. Aiden Joseph Mandilli, Milford. Aiden Drew Ryan, Oxbridge. Luke James Scholl, Northbridge. Will the members of the Electronics and Engineering Technology Program please rise and come forward. Jason James Cardente, Milford. <laughs> Daniel Adam Cardone, Blackstone. <laughs> Dylan Joseph William Costa, Milford. <laughs> Ethan Joseph Heron, Menden. <laughs> Sydney Louise Layden, Upton. Noah Lee Malkasian, Northbridge. <laughs> Aiden James McGrail, Sutton. John Medeiros, Sutton. Artem Plotkin, Upton. Jackson Dean Staley, Hopedale. Brett Joseph Staples, Douglas. Oh, Evan Anthony T. Barge, Sutton. Nicholas Richard Vaughn, Northbridge. <laughs> Henry Albert Warfield, Grafton. <laughs> Kate Grace Watchmaker.
will the members of the Engineering and Robotics program please rise and come forward. Matthew Joseph Alves, Millville. Jacqueline Lucia Bader, Milford. Mason Kevin Baldini, Blackstone. Mia Elizabeth Boucher, Milbury. <laughs> Colin Roy Chambliss, Milford. <laughs> At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Paul Braza, BVT School Committee representative from the town of Milford to present the next diploma. Jake David Ferreira, Milford. Sarah Victoria Flynn, Upton. <laughs> Kyle Peter Forget, Douglas. <laughs> Riley Philip Goyette, Oxbridge. <laughs> Maxwell Jeffrey Guyton, Oxford. <laughs> Allie Brianne Johnson, Milbury. <laughs> Haley Marie Kerouac, Sutton. Haley Elaine Lecherucci, Grafton. <laughs> Hillary Christine Madruga Ferreira, Milford. <laughs> Noah Teodoro Mariano, Grafton. <laughs> Rudolph Enzo Patetti, Bellingham. <laughs> Caitlin Amanda Steele, Upton. <laughs> Tifu Afor Ta, Milford. <laughs> Natalia Vasquez, Menden. Oh! 
Will the members of the Health Services Program please rise and come forward. Troy Chase Cammy Milbury. <laughs> Caitlin Ruth Carlson, Oxbridge. <laughs> Jordan Clarissa Carroll, Grafton. Ava Elizabeth Corbett, Hopedale. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Cody, Menden. <laughs> Myra Gilhermina de Sousa, Milford. At this time, I would like to call up Ms. Stephanie Dunham, a member of BVT school nurse team, to present a diploma to her son. Jack Reed Dunham, Upton. Juliana Elizabeth Arrela. <laughs> Grace Catherine Gilroy Sutton. <laughs> Mia Elizabeth Guadagnoli, Oxbridge. Allison Michiko Key, Milford. At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Sean Kahowski, a teacher from BVT's English department, to present a diploma to his daughter. Brenna Ray Kahowski, Sutton. <laughs> Ryan Lee Lombardi, Sutton. <laughs> Brooke Allison McGuire, Milbury. Caitlin Helene Mullen, Bellingham. Olivia Keegan Oiko, Satin. Haley Marie Orla, Hopedale. Morgan Riley Pitts, Milton. 
Casey Lynn Reeves, Melbourne. Lily Grace Rabab Rezek, Menden. Sadie Smith Robertson, Oxbridge. Emma Ann Shields, Milford. Taylor Ann Stacy Sutton. Jocelyn Cecilia Stein Drago, Milford. Will the members of the Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Program please rise and come forward. Kurt James Belafontaine, Menden. Hunter James Claflin, Douglas. Happy birthday, Hunter. Aiden Davis Cohen, Bellingham. Jack Stephen Gooding, Menden. Brendan Patrick Hawkins, Milford. Andrew Elias Hussan, Milbury. Andrew Augustus Kirby, Upton. Jelana Jouver Manavong, Millville. Owen Arthur Matthew, Grafton. Ashley Rosemary McIsaac, Milford. Tyler Michael Morin, Bellingham. Cooper Lewis O'Neill, Milbury. Chloe Cadence Persiani, Milbury. Camilla Andrea Ramirez, Hopedale. Tade McKee Reardon, Northbridge. Jordan Michael St. Pierre, Blackstone.
Katie, Eva Van Dyke, Blackstone. Caitlin Luella Walsh, Opton. Will the members of the Information Technology Program please rise and come forward? Jack Thomas Abuso, Milford. <laughs> Michael Anthony Alaka, Menden. <laughs> Zachary Charles Barnes, Milford. Logan Alec Betty Milford. Caden <laughs> Truth Crawford, Hopedale. <laughs> Ethan Joseph Cushing, Bellingham. <laughs> Nicholas Allen Hall, Milford. Let's go, Adrian Jonah Lowell, Sutton. <laughs> Jay Portimal Patel, Hopedale. Joshua Robert Platt, Millville. <laughs> Edward Jaquim Miranda Podlaski, Hopedale. Benjamin Thomas Sidlick, Sutton. Will the members of the Multimedia Communications Program please rise and come forward. Josue Manuel Barrios, Milford. Sophia Laney Bates, Northbridge. <laughs> Evan.
Evan Albert Mason Bouvier, Blackstone. At this time, I would like to call up Mrs. Deirdre Cahill, a teaching assistant at BVT, to present a diploma to her daughter. Isabel Hutchins Cahill, Oxbridge. Mitchell John DiPatrillo, Upton. Jenna Grace Dolber, Northbridge. LSA Joy Grady <laughs> Elizabeth Joanne Granda Upton <laughs> Angelina Loring Hunt Milford. <laughs> Maximilian Dawson Hunter, Milford. <laughs> Heather Sylvia Jarek, Milford. <laughs> Ashlyn Olivia Lambert, Blackstone. Mia Tynes Lanigan, Menden. <laughs> Josie Lee Lavoy, Sutton. Ariana Conchetta Maurici, Milford. <laughs> At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Mitchell and Tinarelli, BVT School Committee representative from the town of Hopedale, to present a diploma to his stepdaughter. Olivia May O'Reilly, Hopedale. <laughs> Amanda Kate Pajak, Mendez. <laughs> Liana Jocelyn Pimentel, Milford. <laughs> Ethan Roger Rowe, Milbury. Lily Elizabeth Rice, Milford. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Rowe, Douglas. <laughs> Connor Jeffrey Ruth Sutton. <laughs>
Evan Michael Santi Bellingham. Janine Marie Schnurfile, Northbridge. Will the members of the Painting and Design Technology Program please rise and come forward. William James Crosby, Oxbridge. Anna Catherine Jaraka, Upton. Quinn Fitzpatrick Larkin, Hopedale. Abigail Rose Marino, Blackstone. Paige Emily McMullen, Sutton. Jada Marguerite Mary Paxton, Oxbridge. We would also like to acknowledge Jada for earning the Uxbridge Dollars for Scholars Scholarship in the amount of $3,500 that was meant to be announced at the scholarship night on Tuesday. Congratulations, Jada. Julia Sophia Pellegrini, Hopedale. At this time, I would like to call up Mr. Mark Potter, BVT School Committee representative from the town of Douglas, to present a diploma to his daughter. Yeah, Murphy Joel Amal Potter, Douglas. Dominic Ray, Upton. Ke Keone Mahari Saoda Sankofa, Oxbridge. Thomas Keith Schultz, Sutton. Sarah Rachel Snyder, Oxbridge. <laughs> Samantha Rose Yanis, Douglas. Will the members of the plumbing program please rise and come forward.
Nicholas Ian Coppolino, Blackstone. Benjamin Theodore Craven, Millville. Ethan William Gervais, Sutton. Isaac John Heim, Oxford. Anthony Cahoe, Bellingham. <laughs> Nicholas Paul Laflemme, Oxbridge. <laughs> Mackenzie Elizabeth McIntyre, Blackstone. Marie Paralitis, Satin. <laughs> David James Perry, Milbury. <laughs> Jacob Arthur Rinaldi, Douglas. <laughs> Marek Joseph Rakowski, Bellingham. <laughs> Sean Michael Sexton, Milford. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Waldo, Grafton. Gian Kenneth Zambrano, Sutton. Will the class of 2023 please rise? Move your tassels from the right to the left. Family and friends, I present to you the graduated class of 2023. Thank you.
Yeah, we'll just jump off.